it's a dude. Hey there. No, it's not. It's not a dude. It's not a dude. food so if he walks in, in the middle of the video uh, to give me food or tells me to come get food then yeah <laughs> that would be why so we're gonna continue episode one a new day and also hey get up whoa and also my voice might be a little bit raspy today so yeah I think I'm starting to get sick so <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ooh. Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? Oh, uh, not a bad. Baby, sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're not on the fence. There's a tractor and everything. Dad, we're not on the fence. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck, do or dodging or quacking, or what parent? Um, where? What? Something do your parents name their kid Duck? Um, I'm gonna say dodging or quacking. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. <laughs> Dad! See? <laughs> Cute. The word is you were on your way to make it. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, no thanks, sure, we'll tag along. I'll ask the girl, or maybe... Let's... Let's see how things turn out, I guess. Um, I'm gonna say I'll ask the girl. Sure, we'll tag I, along. Okay. What's the plan, then? I... Misclicked. <laughs> Oops. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, no. we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Okay. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On a tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Aww. I like her. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm gonna just take a little look around. Um, make sure I don't miss anything. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Okay, that's informative. Um, okay. Katja, that's her name. It's Katja. Katja and Clem. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Aw. Uh, let's talk to Katja. Hey there, girls. Let me turn it down just a little bit. I don't want my voice to get, like, overtaken, I guess. How is the city? voice crack how is the city you two actually looked relaxed or looked relaxed or what do you do um you two actually looked relaxed you two actually look relaxed i think we're doing just fine clementine was just telling me about first grade oh uh how's that it's easy <laughs> yeah well yeah so you're good anyway it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? I like her. You learned that Clementine is a first grader. Uh, how is the city, or what do you do? What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? We used to 
teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh... My mistake. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How was the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. We don't have to say anymore. Aww. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Yes. Um, who wouldn't? Things happen for a reason or was bad before. Uh, who wouldn't? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, it was the point. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. All right, Clem, how you doing? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Good. I like them both. They're really sweet. Okay. Uh, Kenny, who's over here, right? Yep. Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? How's your son doing? Or what's your plan? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Need, any, need help? any help? No, I think I got it. Okay. Do you need any help? Hmm? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. Okay, With those things out like there, that. maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. What's your plan, or how's your son doing? How's your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Aww. Uh, you showed interest, or you showed an interest in his family. Uh, what's your plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On well, the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat. I guess. Hmm. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin. Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Hmm. You learned about Kenny's boat. Uh... It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hmm. Okay. This thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Good. Okay. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Hmm. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. Chow, chow, 
top. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Mm -hmm. Um. You gotta do what you can to survive. Yeah. I put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger. Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Uh, you don't see things like that. It's yeah. not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. I don't know how I feel about Sean. I feel like he's a bit strange. I don't know. I know I don't like Herschel. But I really like uh, Katja, Kenny, and Duck. And uh, obviously Clementine a lot. So that's pretty good. Nick. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Yeah. Um. Sometimes it's kill. Be kill. Yeah. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um. My parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Yep. All right. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I took care of everything else. Because I talked to everybody, and I looked at everything, so... Are you coming back here or not, or else I'll just go back here and... Well... Hi, Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck, and I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. I don't like you. This him. farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. It never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Um, parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. And now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Um, what are you getting at? What are you getting at? Hmm. I don't like him. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. I'm good at that. Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, crap. So I'll do anything to be mean to him. Go with Doc. Go, Doc. Get out. Get the key. Get him. Yes. I got you. Get this tractor off of me. Please, help me. Please. Oh. 
not going to be very happy. the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. I don't like him. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Yes. Yes, please. Hmm. I couldn't let Duck die. I like them too much. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. I don't like this. <gasps> What's a dude? Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No, it's not. It's not a dude. It's not a dude. Yeah. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. Mm. You don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out We're there. We're okay. Not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Mm. Please, right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet uh, you would. Just go. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God yes. damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He, he wasn't, wasn't bitten. bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. No. My dead body will dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some over the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Can no. Stop him. Um, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They uh. will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get 
get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. Go back, see it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. Oh, that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. Mm. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the body. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Mm -hmm. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? Don't be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Yes! No! No, 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 get up, get Get up, 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 Somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need... Gas. We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you're insane, that'd be great, or you know you're running around town. <laughs> Damn, that'd be great. I don't know what just came out of me. <laughs> well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I don't make it. Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Hmm. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. I For like now, Carly. get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. I also now hate Lily and Larry. Pills. Hmm. Alright, let's look around. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. Now this place didn't get looted. Hmm. An empty 
energy bar. I like energy bars. The pills are in there. No dip. That's why it says pharmacy. Another energy bar. Probably should be checking the floor as well, but am I? Nope. Definitely not giving them an energy bar. Another energy bar. Hi, friend. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, honey. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. I feel like I have some door damage. I think I'm gonna give one to the children. So Try to get some one rest. to duck. How can it? It's that much but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. And one to Clem. It's that much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. The last one can go to I can give it to Carly or I can give it to uh, Lily and Larry. I would assume it would go to Larry and I think that's it. I really like Carly. But Larry's sick, so I don't know. I... I'll give it to Lily and Larry. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Oh, one to Lily. Okay, that that's fine. It's fine. Um... Let's talk to everyone now. Hey there. Hi. Um, can I get you anything or any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I get you anything? Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I just Stay. gave you huh? food. Yeah, it wasn't much. Oh. I uh, know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. I feel so bad for her. Well, I feel bad for all of them. We should get to know each other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. Me? That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. <laughs> despite the circumstances. Yep. Being good is, uh... Well, sit tight. Good! Okay. <laughs> Carly? You're a pretty good shot. I thought you were just gonna oh, say, no. you're, um, pretty. <laughs> Fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> Me. Uh, what are you working on? Are you handle yourself well? What are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <coughs> <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, but... Okay. Um, volume, power, batteries. Oh. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. It's 
batteries. <laughs> This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to Doug then. Hey Lee, you really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. No. Um, how's Doc doing? How's Doc doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Uh, she's good, I think. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Um, you guys alright? You guys alright? Right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Doug? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. <laughs> he got so scared. Can I, like, zoom in on his face? <sighs> that was so funny. He's Where like, uh... <laughs> Should we go looking for them? Uh, they own this place. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. So they were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Uh, it happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice of kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Aww. I guess. Console? Try to let it go. killing a, a guy, you know, you probably would be sad, so, you know, it's okay, it, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna end this video here, if you guys enjoyed, please let me know, hit the like button down below, and comment what you liked about this video, also if you have any suggestions for any new uh, series that you apologize series that you want me to do then just like I said let me know um in the comments down below and plus I always love hearing from you guys so if you just want to say hey or let me know how your day is then you can do that because I enjoy hearing from you <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah I will see you all